The internal anal sphincter, IAS, is a downward continuation of the circular muscle of the muscularis propria of the rectal wall. The longitudinal muscle, LM, of muscularis propria of the rectal wall divides into several fibers near the anal rectal junction. The space between longitudinal and circular muscle forms the intersphincteric space, ISA. The external anal sphincter, EAS, appears as a downward continuation of the puber rectalis, pubrec, part of the levator ani, lev ani. The fibers of longitudinal muscles are intermingled with numerous elastic fibers near the anal canal. During anal ultrasound, these fibers give multiple hyper- and hypoechoic rings in the intersphincteric area. In solitary rectal ulcer syndrome, the interface between the thickened longitudinal and circular muscle of lower rectum is seen. The submucosa is thickened and hyperechoic. The presence of interface between the two muscular layers and between muscular layer and submucosa rules out malignant infiltration. The probe of rectal ultrasound is withdrawn slowly from higher up in the rectum. The sharp margin of the ulcer with normal mucosa is noted in the middle rectum. Endoscopic ultrasound, EUS, shows that intersphincteric area is normally seen only in anal canal. In solitary rectal ulcer syndrome, the intersphincteric area is seen as a hyperechoic plane between the thickened longitudinal and circular muscle. In solitary rectal ulcer syndrome, the interface between the thickened longitudinal and circular muscle of the lower rectum is seen. The submucosa is thickened and hyperechoic. The presence of interface between the two muscular layers and between the muscular layer and submucosa rules out malignant infiltration. The linear endoscopic ultrasound probe is positioned in the lower rectum and an ulcer is seen in the mid-rectum. Linear EUS shows a transition zone between the normal layers in the lower part and the ulcerated area in the middle part of the rectum. All five normal layers of the rectal wall are seen in the caudal part of the screen. The ulcerated area also shows five layers. The first layer of thickened submucosa of approximately 2.5 to 3.5 mm is seen. The second layer of interface between submucosa and circular muscles of muscularis propria is seen clearly. The total thickness of muscularis propria is about 4 to 5 mm, and there is a presence of a third hyperechoic layer between the circular and longitudinal muscle layers of rectal wall. The longitudinal muscles of the rectal wall forms the fourth layer and the serosa outside the muscularis propria is seen as the last layer. Clear presence of interface between these layers rules out an infiltrative disease. Throughout the imaging, the shadow of the elevator is seen approximately along the dotted yellow line.
Rectal examination shows an ulcer 5 cm above the anal canal. The rectum is filled with 100 ml of water in the left lateral position. The probe is kept in a central position. The artifact of air is present in the initial part of the video from the 7 to 10 o'clock positions in the right wall of the rectum. EUS shows normal layers of rectum 6 cm from the anal verge. On withdrawal of the probe near the anal rectal junction, the fourth layer of rectal wall is seen to be thickened and split by the presence of a hyperechoic interface between the circular and longitudinal muscle. The muscular layer of the anorectum is followed down into the internal anal sphincter of the anal canal where it becomes oval in shape and is surrounded by hyperechoic external anal sphincter. The interface between the circular and longitudinal muscle of the lower rectum continues into the intersphincteric area of the upper and middle part of the anal canal. The rectum is filled with about 100 milliliters of water. In the right part of the screen, the normal wall of middle rectum is seen. The lower part of the rectum is seen on the left side of the screen. The lower rectum shows absence of interface layer and submucosa is seen as the first layer, which is thickened and in direct contact with the probe. Just beneath the submucosa, the thickened circular muscle is seen. The circular and longitudinal muscles of rectum are seen clearly separated by a hyperechoic layer. This hyperechoic layer is not normally visualized in the lower rectum. The thickened circular and longitudinal muscles are followed down to the middle part of the anal canal. The thickened circular and longitudinal muscles are surrounded by the muscles of the pelvic floor around the anal canal.